minutes. Downcast, Leicester City down. And Goodison Park's final season will be Everton's 70th consecutive season in the top tier of the English game. The club that was promoted in 1954 will remain elite until 2024, and the fans swarm on. It is not what Everton wanted in terms of a public response, but it is at least an upbeat, joyful invasion, an outpouring of relief. The great club of Harry Catrick and Jimmy Gabriel and Brian Lebone, of Harvey and Ball and Kendall, the Holy Trinity. The club of Joe Royal, who is here today, of Southall and Ratcliffe, of Sheedy and Reedy and Sharp and Latchford and Gray, of Lineker, of Ferguson, of Rooney. The club of Sean Dyche keeps it going. Everton are staying up. And now the celebration is turning into protestation. And from the Gladys Street end, we hear the first chorus of sack the board. Because this, Graham, is what these fans insist must never, never happen again. Yeah, well, they've got away with it two seasons in a row. And it's so frustrating for supporters. But in the end, mission accomplished. They've got a huge amount of work to do in the summer to reset the culture of this place. One more year here. But what a, what a performance of will. Beautiful, beautiful strike. What a way to win a game of football, let alone a game of football that mean, means so much, has so much significance and so much pressure resting on it. It's always good to see a game won by a strike like that, Lee. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, they knew what they had to do before the game, win it. They've done that. And that's about all they can take from the end of the season, the fact that they stayed up, and it's a huge thing as well. But there has to be a lesson. There has to be a lesson in this. It is the worst season in Everton's Premier League history, and it is a season that ends in some sort of crazy celebration. A celebration which is imbued with a mood of protest. There is, in fact, a divide amongst the supporters. Those who want to be on the field to make their point and those who insist that this should not be the case. And I must say, I look over my shoulder now at the gentleman I mentioned earlier, an Everton fan well into his 80s who remembers their relegation day of 1951. A man of such a gentle distinction and poise. And he looks on a little dismayed at what he sees, thrilled though he will be at uh, 